yourself in Japan, then you come to Tokyo. And if you want to immerse yourself in Tokyo, then you come here to Shibuya, the world's busiest intersection. And just like the rest of Japan, it's congested, but it's clean. It's heavily populated, but everyone's so polite. And it's contradictions like this that make Japan so fascinating. Twenty-four-seven. This intersection is the buzzing hub of Tokyo, one of the most densely populated cities on Earth. And Shibuya is a snapshot of the Tokyo you expect to see, with its big crowds, billboards, and bright lights. What do you love about living here? I really like the energy of Tokyo. You might have seen some girls in a funky fashion. I've、so、seen the funky we girls. We do have very new stuff. But at the same time, we have very traditional, te beautiful temples and shrines, and I really like this mixture of、uh, old tradition and the new culture. It is lovely to see the parks and the nature, and how much you cherish nature. But then also the backdrop of the skyscrapers. It's it's an interesting juxtaposition. Tokyo is split up into over forty distinct districts, or wards, as the locals call them. From the bright and bustling streets of Shibuya to the old town ambience of neighbourhoods like Yanaka, soaring high above the city is the Sky Tree Tower, Tokyo's tallest building and its landmark attraction. There's two levels of observation decks and endless views. It's from this height that you get a true sense of the size of Tokyo, with its population of 13 million. If you include the outlying areas, it's a total of 34 million people. You can see little shrines dotted in next to the skyscrapers. It's constantly changing landscape, and I'm sure if I came here in six months' time. It would be different again. One area that's managed to retain its old world charm is Asakusa, full of hidden streets and alleys, and the home of many of Tokyo's temples, including Sensoji, its most popular. This seventh-century Buddhist temple has become a place of pilgrimage for people from around the world. So what happens here, Toshio? This is、uh, it's a Buddhism tradition to put incense before you pray, and people put the smoke onto your body. For example, if you have an injury, you can heal your injury. If you want to be beautiful, you can put it on your face. If you want to be smart, oh yeah, I need bucket loads of that.、Yeah. <laughs> One thing I can guarantee about this city of contradictions. Is that there is nowhere on earth quite like it. It's a city that moves to the beat of its own drum. Taiko is a traditional type of drum that's native to Japan, and my fellow scenic guests and I are getting in touch with our inner musician today and feeling the rhythm, or at least trying to. But seeing master drummer Ken in action is the real highlight of the afternoon. Fish market is the largest fish market in the world and a Tokyo institution. It's estimated that over 15% of the world's total fish catch passes through the gates of this working market. But there is so much more on offer than just fish. <laughs> What is that?、Uh, this is a sea urchin. A sea urchin. Yeah, rose sea urchin.、Uh, it's very creamy and tasty.、Uh, What is this? This has got me really worried. <laughs> Crab. Why is it 
creamy, like you said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad. I can tick that off my bucket list. Yeah, yeah, yeah.